What's up guys? So here we are with our test of the mica powder like you wanted. Um, I decided I want to do a good old flip cup. Uh, we're going to be using this red. I don't even know if you can see it. I changed light bulbs. Try to make it so you guys can see it. It's super pigmented. Um, they come with these... Uh, well, they come with this little spoon. Look, I'm dropping it everywhere. <laughs> so I'm gonna pause it while I mix it. I'm only gonna be mixing it with a little bit of the Vivid Polypore. And this is uh, American Floetrol and PVA. I'll be right back. So I was watching another thing with mica powder. I was watching, um, you need to use a um, a pouring medium of course but it, I was watching some lady and she was saying to put it on top and not on bottom and it needed to be mixed with something besides just Floetrol because Floetrol is you know a, a pain conditioner um, it mixes pretty good but if you're not careful you'll have um, see how it's starting to chunk up on me and it's coming out of the cup so you gotta mix it like really, really good. So I'm gonna pause you guys while I get this good and mixed up. I'll be right back. Okay, where are you? So this is the green. And here's the red. They're really pretty. And if you don't mix them up good enough, you're gonna have chunks as with any mica powder. So these two are mica powder. I did put blue mica powder in, in here with this one with paint, and it is, I used Folk Art with American Floetrol, and then we have, this is just paint by itself with American Floetrol, and of course PVA. And then I didn't want to leave my Australian people out, so this is Australian Floetrol and mica powder. The other mica powder mixed the same way, except with American Floetrol, and it's got a Vivid Enamel or a Vivid Polypore, and then just plain Dioxine Purple. And I also planned on using some white. So I'm going to layer these and do a flip cup, dirty flip cup, or whatever you want to call it. So uh, let me pour these into cups, and then I'll be back. So here's my Amsterdam ones layered. I did do two cups for a little 8x10 canvas, but these are tiny cups. I don't think I mixed the red one good enough because I think I saw chunks. I hope not. And I did put silicone in these, but I did spray the cups with the silicone blaster and then I turn them upside down, let them drain. On a paper towel, and I just realized I forgot the white. <laughs> so uh, we're, not, we're not using white. I lied. Ugh. Man, I love this doxing purple. So it's just going to be a, a dirty pour. Now, if you want to, you can fast forward this part. Um, I know the blue and the mica powder are mixed very well because I used this little guy to make sure they were mixed really well. Sorry about my smoke detector in the background. Um, the red, which looks more like copper, I didn't even read to see what they said. It sinks. See? I hope this turns out pretty. I'm really excited to see how it looks. Because uh, let me tell you, the mica powders themselves are beautiful. It's very messy. That's for sure. Kind of being messy. And I can't remember if I said it came with this little spoon. I used two um, heaping spoonfuls when I did this. I only used one for this blue. Which my blue is so fluffy.
And I have high hopes for this stuff, man, for only being $22 on Amazon. But, um, I wanted to do some by itself and, um, some in paint, you know, so we could see what it looked like. Okay, so American Floetrol, Australian Floetrol. And I do want to take a, a stick through it or a, my case, a sewing needle. Oh my gosh, this is so messy. Oh my goodness, I'm getting paint everywhere. So I have noticed it's like super fluffy. <laughs> the one I used the blender on, so let's get our two um, canvases here. I gotta make sure I put them right, because my table is off balance. Can I even do it this way? Say I mark them. Can y'all see? Yeah, you can see. Okay, well here goes nothing. Wish me luck. Just one. Two. Probably could get away with just one cup. But I've already mixed the paint now, so... Might as well do it. My dog just went under the table. Laying on the measuring cup. Alright, well here goes nothing. So we can only tilt one at a time. So let's move that one and do the Australian one first. Oh, it's pretty. Let's torture real quick. Whoa, torch stuck. Look how pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it, but man, she's shimmery. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm just trying to do a a quick tilt. I mean, all in all, it looks pretty. Quit barking, Mello. I'm talking to myself. Man, see, I know with a, a flip cup, you don't use a freaking uh, cover of the canvas or whatever, but I like to. No, I think it's pretty. I'm about to rub my gloves right on my apron. Oh, I got the strings. Okay, so here's, um, I'm going to torch it one more time. It's the Australian Floetrol. Okay, move it over and do the American. Torch it. Look at them lighter sails come up. Or torch sails, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I'm trying to decide which way I want to go. I hope you guys can see this. Okay. I might as well go ahead and just run off the end. Look at that line, it's pretty. Mm, where are we going? I guess we'll go over here. I'm not going for anything special, I'm just trying to cover the canvas. Oh man, I hit it with my hand. Crapola. Okay, I want to torch it. Now you see where to look, where I use the silicone or the spray. I should be using my palette knife to do this and not my hands. 
That's where you have too much oil in the dang cup. Hold on one second. Let me take my gloves off. to get paint on my hands so I can torch this one one more time. Holy oh, moly, there's a bubble right there. Is that a bubble? No, it's that's mica right there and I didn't mix up too good. I mean, really? I mean, I like it. I really bought these uh, mica powders for um, that was in my damn whatchamacallit, uh, uh, pouring, um, flow trough. So, American and Australian flow trough. I mean, really, they look pretty, especially the Australian flow trough. Man, that looks really, really, really pretty. Let me see if this is a mica powder or if it's a flow, no, it's a flow trough booger. And I strained my flow trough, which is terrible. So that I can say the ones with the um, the mica powder. I mean, it's a little thin. So if you use like pouring medium instead of like Floetrol, or if you used PVA in the mica powder, I wouldn't use just straight um, Floetrol. Is what I'm trying to say, because it's just it's too thin. It's just too thin. But other than that, I like it. So, uh, I'm going to touch up and make sure my corners are touched up. And, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys liked it. I hope I did it justice. And, yeah. <laughs> Talk to you later.